I'm out on the beaches this morning, checking things out. I was really hoping I wasn't going to find this, but I did. I'm at Naples Beach between Central and First Ave, and I walk out to this. That day, Colleen Gill saw three dead dolphins. Gill is a clean water activist on a mission. For the last so about six months, I have been traveling from beach to beach, um, from starting at Marco Island all the way up to the Sarasota beaches, documenting conditions in real time via Facebook Live as well as other videos, um, trying to step in where um, the information is not getting out to let the public see what's really happening. A number of dolphins have washed up dead on South Florida beaches in the past few weeks, and red tide is suspected. Some studies suggest fertilizers associated with sugarcane and citrus production are contributing factors. The past two years have been tough for the state. A green algae bloom emerged on the east coast and a red tide on the west side, both toxic to wildlife and humans. In October, residents of the Florida Panhandle lived through one of the strongest storms in years, Hurricane Michael. Last year, it was Hurricane Irma in the Florida Keys. A recent U.S. government report confirms climate change is having an impact on Florida. But not everybody buys it. No, I think it's a hoax. I think it's, it's just to get more money. Of course, we have different things like storms, more storms and hurricanes but I think it's a hoax. So why do you think we're having more storms and why they're more intense? Because that's part of the, the world. That's part of the world. I mean, we're always going to get those things. Some detractors believe it's part of the Earth's cycle, but activists in Florida are convinced humans are to blame, and they want the federal government and state officials to act. Gil and other environmentalists recently showed up at an event with Florida Governor-elect Ron DeSantis. Sir, what are you going to do for the water, Governor? Sir, what are you doing for the water? Sir. DeSantis may not have provided them with the answers they wanted, but he addressed a clean water issue. I know that that is something that, um, uh, you know, affects the way of life here in the state of Florida, affects our economy, um, and I really view it as a foundational issue that we've got to make sure we get right, you know, if we want to continue to be a prosperous state. Florida activists will keep at it. For them, the fight against climate change transcends prosperity. It's about survival. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Naples, Florida.